Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the keyboard on your Dell Inspiron 1501. Alright, so of course, as always, first thing you want to do is make sure that you disconnect uh, your power source and of course your battery, which you do on the back of the computer. And then after that, we're just going to open up our computer. And then as you can see, I've laid down the screen completely flat on my desk. So now I'm ready to get started. The only thing you're going to need for this is a small flathead screwdriver. That's it. So first thing we need to remove is this plate right here. Now you're going to find a little divot on this end right here that you can place your flathead right in and just simply pry it up. All right. Now you don't need to be super gentle with this. It's pretty resilient. But as you can see, I've pulled up this end right now. And again, just in this divot and then push it up. And then after that, you can just pull it off with your hands. All right, so there we go. Now we've pulled this off, and it's good. And like I said, you don't need to be super, super careful with it. Just make sure you know you don't whack any wires or anything. But this should be able to pop off fairly easily. All right, and now from here, the only thing we need to do is pop out two screws. And um, actually, these are Phillips screwdrivers. So I'm sorry, but we also are going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. Sorry, I didn't tell you that at the start of the video. So we're going to take our Phillips and there's only two screws so it's not a big deal and we're just going to undo them real quickly. And make sure you keep your screws in a spot where you'll remember that way you don't lose them because that's a lonely feeling when you lose some screws to your computer. It's not a good thing. Okay, so now we've replaced, I mean excuse me, taken out the screws. Now we can just simply pull up the keyboard from right here like so, and then pull it out. But you want to be careful at this point because it's still attached by a ribbon cable. So there's going to be a ribbon cable right under here. All you need to do is simply, let's see, we're going to pull this aside. Okay. It is on the ribbon cable. I don't know if you probably can't see too well, but all you have to do is pull up this black hatch and then slip out the cable, and it comes out like so. It's very easy to do not that hard and then after you're done with that all you have to do is just set your keyboard aside and then replace it with your new one it's pretty easy to do and straightforward hope this video helped bye